Let's consider some algebraic expressions. I'll consider a plus b. I'll consider a x square y. A 1 plus x plus x square. I'm sure you know that this has got only one term because of which it's called as a monomial. So this is a binomial. This has got three terms. It's called as a trinomial. Now what we're going to see is we are going to consider this binomial. Binomial, we are going to raise this binomial expression to uh, natural power. Just consider this a plus b raised to the power 1. We will consider this a plus b the whole square. And we will also consider a plus b the whole cube. Now I am sure all of you know that this is just equal to a plus b. This is a, a square plus 2ab plus b square a cube 3a square b 3ab square and a b cube and if it's going to be some higher powers we'll just see what exactly will be this expansion if you're going to raise it in general to a natural number for that one thing you observe here is that the coefficients of the n terms both are going to be equal to 1 I'll just write this in the form of a triangle. Please listen. If it's a plus b, the whole power 0, this is just going to be 1. The coefficients for a plus b, both the coefficients are 1. For a plus b, the whole square, the end coefficients are just 1. You see that the middle coefficient is 2, which is nothing but the sum of these two. Okay. Now, for a plus b, the whole cube, Again here, the end, both the coefficients are 1. What is this coefficient 3 here? This coefficient is 3. Here again, it is just the sum of these two, it's 3. For a plus b, the whole cube, these two, it's going to be 1. This coefficient is going to be 4. This is going to be 3 plus 3 is 6. Here, it's going to be 4. Likewise, you can just expand it. One more observation here for a plus b the whole cube it starts with the same power the first term starts with the same power 3 and the power keeps decreasing a cube a square a here it's just going to be a power 0 or 1 similarly the powers of the second term b power 0 b b square it becomes b cube and what we will just write down what all we have observed the end terms the coefficients are 1 Okay, the second observation, the powers keep decreasing. The powers of the first term keep decreasing. Second term keeps increasing. And the number of terms, if it is 1, if it's a plus b the whole power 1, number of terms, you see that it is 2. a plus b the whole square, the number of terms, it is 3. a plus b the whole cube, number of terms, it is 4. So, in general for a plus b the whole power n, number of terms should be n plus 1. Quickly we will see what is the expansion for this a plus b the whole power n. The first term is going to be a power n. Last term is going to be b power n. Coefficients will just get back to it. The second term will be a power n minus 1 b, a power n minus 2 b square and it goes on. Last term or the n plus 1th term, number of terms will be n plus 1. The n plus 1th term will become b power n. Coefficients, if you consider, as I told you, the first term and last term, the coefficients are 1. I'm sure in combinations, you have already learnt uh, nc0 and ncn. Both values are equal to 1. So, we'll fix the coefficient for the first term as nc0 and for the last term, we will fix the coefficient as ncn. And you will see that all the other coefficients are, here it is a nc1, here it is a nc2, nc3, nc4, it goes on. So, for this expansion for a plus b, the whole power n, binomial, it means that there are two terms. For a plus b, the whole power n, this is applicable as of now, we are seeing it for a natural number. You see that the powers of the first term starts with a power n itself, 
keeps decreasing by 1. A power n minus 1, n minus 2 and so on till last term is going to be a power 0. Powers of the second one, b power 0, b, b square, it goes on till b power n. And the coefficients, you see that they are nc1, nc0, starts with nc0, nc1, nc2, nc3. And for the last term, the coefficient is uh, ncm. And of course, the first and the last term, this nc0 and ncn values, both are going to be equal to 1. So, in the binomial expansion for a plus b the whole power n, you are going to have n plus 1 terms with this pattern. Totally, there are going to be n plus 1 terms with these as the coefficients. Powers of a keeps decreasing by 1 and powers of the second term b keep increasing by 1. Mm -hmm.